Good day. Um, what we're going to do today is to look at theming your application. As you can see here, we have a background which is gradient. We have an image with borders. Um, we have a pattern that we've made to be gradient. So the way that you do this is uh, you use styles. Um, if you go to the Ionic documentation, you will find that one is able to theme any component. For example, uh, let's take an alert. If we go there, this is the JavaScript code. This is the alert. And this is how this alert has been done. The button, the alert, and the various attributes. And then how to show it. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, most pages usually they have a section for properties, which explain what the properties are on. Um, this is what you usually see on your property bag in the custom views when you use Abstract Designer, also when you use the wireframe applications. So, for the alert, there are some CSS custom properties that you can apply. So these are the themes or the styles that we will be able to apply for the alert, like for example, the background opacity, the background, if you want to change the height, if you want to change the max height, and things like that. So what we do with the wireframe applications to use the same approach in relation to changing the themes so that it fits into these and because these are shadow properties that's why they have a, a dash dash at the in front so this is the same approach that we have followed on the wireframe application as you can see here yeah, we created our applications with a blank template our patcher doesn't have a header that's why you don't see the header here his header is blank here, you know, so we decided to remove that. And what we have done is to make sure that we have a background that has been set. For the content. Now our home page has a content, you know, and it is named home content. And to apply styles to this, what we need to do is to go to Typography and select the Style Component. Now what the Style Component does is we are able to indicate the Target ID. The Target ID in this case will be Home, component, home Content. And then we're able to set some properties here and some attributes. Like if you want to add a couple of classes, you can go here and add them. If you want to add a couple of styles and a couple of attributes, and then set the other attributes that are here. And it will pick up only the styles that have been set. So we created a style component for the home content. And we named it home content style. Yeah. Home content, home content style. So home content style. We named it home content style because we want to establish that it's linking to home content. And then what we did was to indicate that the target ID is the home content. It basically means that when this style is applied, it goes and finds out that content component and then it will apply the styles that are set here. So what we set here was a couple of styles because the home content is a, a content and iron content is having a shadow property. So we've set the background to be linear and that is why you are able to see this background here, you know? So for example, we can remove this. Let's just cut this and save. And save this. You see, there's no gradient, linear gradient here. But however, if we go and apply it again, you 
and save it. Then we have that gradient here. So that is what we have done in relation to the other components. Now inside the home content, we added some divs and some patterns and some input controls. So for example, the home content, we added an image holder. This image holder is based on the SH label, which is actually just a div, because you can specify any type of content there. So the un label, which is un, is a div, and then we applied some settings with it. You say display is flex, align items is center, justify items is center because we want it to be displaying at the center of the screen here. And then we applied some stars to it, yeah, with 100 is that in x3 position relatives, top is at 95 px, etc. etc. So that is why you are able to see now that this div is this that holds the picture here and then inside that image holder we added an avatar image an avatar image is the native image you know we specify the source of the image the height the width the border radius and then we said position is relative you know so it applies to the style the attributes will apply to attribute classes will apply to the class and then what we did also was also to add a sign card. A sign card is also another div inside the home content. We also applied to some styles to it. We said it must be matching at the top, but I just 13, box shadow, background color, it's white, and setting it is two. So which is why you see this sign card you know this is what is in here then inside the card we have that sign in sign in is an h2 there's sign in there's nothing that's applied to it you know for example if we want this to be in the middle we can just say sign in uh, i'm not sure whether this will work Let's just try it out. Uh, flex center center. Let's just see. There we go. So it's centered, you know. So uh, we might just need to put it a little bit down, so we can go to say margin top margins margin top uh, ten px, you know. Um, this will apply a style to it. Okay, it's not applied. Let's try something else. Engine top. PPX. Let's save it and see. Okay, let me check something here. Margin top 30px. Uh, the margin is actually applied, but we have our our spacing. Let's just see something here. Okay, maybe we can just. Okay, for now we'll just leave that. It's not bad after all. Okay, and then um, also then in the sign card we have a details holder. Details holder will hold the email, the password. So the details holder is also another div. You know, uh, there's nothing to it. The div we just want it to hold the inputs here, and then uh, we have an email which is an input. And we've said that we want it to be, it's inside the details holder. It's stacked, you know, uh, 
let's perhaps change something here. Yeah. Spell check, it's an email, the counter, the color, and all sorts of things. Um, let's do this. Maybe let's change the mode and just see what is going to happen. Let's change the mode to be empty. I'm sorry for any background noise that is available here. The shape, let's make it round. Uh, what do we do? Stack value, mode empty, multiple. Level placement stacked. Input mode, helper text. Helper text appears at the, at the bottom. Please enter, enter your email. Let's say fill, uh, let's say outline. You know, I just want to see if, for example, we can make some change to this. Yes, there we go. There is our email. Please enter your email, the helper text, and things. Let's also change the password, you know, and make it a little bit uh, the password. the shape to be around we make the mode to be empty we make the shape to be round and then help a text we say please enter your password yeah. and we save this password wow let's try this again password Feel, I think we forgot feel, feel, outline, there we go, and then you save it, okay, there is your password, and then maybe what we can do is just to increase the space in between these two, you know, uh, let's try this password, margin top, Okay, there's no margins. We'll add a style for that and then try and resize it. And then the sign in button. The sign in button is inside a div, which is login div. And then what we can do is to try and make the shape of the button round. Shape. Let's make it round. And there it is. You can see the edges are a little bit round. You know, um, and you can play around with the let's do this. Let me remove this. And save it. There we go. So as you can see, I removed that styling that was there, so that to make our button to be a little bit round. So you can play around with the styles as much as you can, so that you set this thing up. Now let's add a a, a a a style for the password. Password. Let's go here. Typography. Style. Let's call it password style. Let's call it password style. Password. This is under the home content. Let's just edit there. And then what we want to do? We want to set the margin top to be 20 px. Let's just see if this thing is going to work. There we go. So we were able to set the margin from the previous one to be 20, you know, uh, so that at least it has some spacing in between, you know. So the button itself, let's just see other settings that are here. The height is 50. 
I mean, we can even remove this height. Imagine top is 5x, you know. This button is a little bit close. Maybe what we can do is to move that login div. Maybe make it 20 pixels also. So that the parent of that button moves a little bit down, you know. So we have some space in between. So the person will enter the password here and the person will enter the email there. You know? And these are placeholders, of course. And we can also play around in relation to if, for example, we want the button not to be round, you know, we just leave it as that. to be outlined we save this so let's make an outline button it is outline but it has a gradient so it doesn't necessarily work so let's perhaps revert back shape round and then size default to the position um, iOS outline and let's make it solid so there it is uh, finished so that's how you basically will style most of the things uh, that are here then when you're finished with this you kind of like uh, extract your code um, for the from the custom view abstract designer guide so this will tell you in terms of which settings to set when you're creating your applications using the custom view, you know, and all the settings that you need to do. Um, there we go. This is everything you created before J project. You drag and drop some components into the abstract designer and you set up their properties, you know. So that is how it happens. So as you can see, we are finished with our code here. Um, now what I'll do is to open up the application and then I'll show you how we created this application here. So let me do this. I'm going to open a project that is already existing because I've already created this. Uh, this is here. This is the login project. Okay, let me close the wireframing application. Okay, we'll just wait for it to open. This is the actually I'm going to call it login. Again. So what you can intend to do here, when you created this application, you want to file new and then you went to Citaso Ionic Welcome, which is basically a code approach into creating your applications, you know. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm just going to quickly grab the code for the home page. code here and then I'm going to paste it in our application so that we can see uh, page home this is all that we need here this is the code that we need to make sure this application works so let me close this version go here to cool and open two instances of this application so as you can see in our code you know everything that we got from the custom view guide that we needed to set is actually all here um, then what we do let's just run this application so that we can see in terms of what is it going to appear like in our uh, in our generated code, uh, 
base. Okay, I'll just close this. Let's wait for this to quickly run. And then this is supposed to open our application. So let's wait. Let's open this from a device and see how it will look like from a device. So as you can see, we have regenerated what you see here in the wireframe and made it to be what is in here. Some things might not uh, be working fine, like the sign in here. We just need to tweak that. There's our email. There's our password. There's our sign in. So as you can see, we have styled our component and created our component, and then the application is working. Um, so as I indicated, to get the styling for the various components, you just go to the any component documentation, and then you look for CSS custom properties, and then these are the styles that you need to set. And then what you can do in your style, then you indicate uh, let's go to the home component home content style you indicate that this is the style that you need to apply so everything so far is going well the styling is working the application has been created based on the wireframe as it is you know and everything that we have is fine so uh, we we'll look in terms of how we do the other inputs and other things with the wireframe applications. All right. Thank you. Bye.